Once upon a time, a long time ago, before your time and before my time and when people had time, a beautiful queendom stood high on a hill. It had its share of danger, but as long as you watched your step and didn't go where you shouldn't go, it was a wonderful, happy place to live. Until now. There's an ogre ca causing chaos in the queendom. Causing chaos? Go sort it out at once. Princesses? There's an ogre causing chaos. You must go to your rooms to be safe. I, I don't want to be in this room. I want to go outside. I want to go outside too. Let's go outside. I let's go outside to the to the balcony. Hey, hey yes. Do you remember the trick that 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 the man with the blue glasses taught us? Yes, I'm going to disappear. As they reached the enchanted forest, two of the knights, Sir Caravine and Sir Catterbottom, rushed towards them. The trees! They're alive! Don't go in there! Yeah, look what them. they did to my sword! But nothing could have prepared them for what was going to happen next. They had stumbled into a monstrous den, and two gruesome monsters stared at them hungrily. Princess Nia grabbed a magic branch and began twisting the top of the monster's tail. He didn't like that. Princess Astra tried to dazzle him with a magic mirror, but the monster turned his eyes inside out and deflected the mirror towards them. Princess Shifra had a brilliant idea. She began to sing a haunting, enchanting, sultry lullaby. The monster stopped and swayed, fell asleep. The princesses tiptoed past the sleeping monsters. But what do you think awaited them on the other side of the bridge? The ogre! The ogre! Peaceful countryside scene. Whatever could go possibly wrong? The old maids gabbling. Livestock snorkeling. Wait, what is this from the corner? Helpful village lady gave the princesses a clothesline to help them contain the ogre. He's going to wreck the whole village altogether, so he is. And suddenly they were off on horseback and piggyback and uh, a long tailed animal. <laughs>
goggles. I just can't see without my glasses. Oh, he lost his glasses. Let's find his glasses. <laughs> <laughs> And so the princesses went in search of the ogre's glasses. Here, there, and there. We found yes. My glasses. <laughs> So the Queen handed out prizes to everybody for their bravery and their bouldery. And the celebrations went on well into the night. My stories ended. Put on the kettle and make the day. And if they weren't happy, that you and I may. The end! I played one of the, the horses, uh, horse number one. Um, really pleased to have this in my portfolio. That's a deliberate joke. <laughs> um, the, the bit with the horses was great. The chess scene. <laughs> Hi, my name is Shifra and I played the princess. My favourite part was riding on the horse's back. Hi, my name is Sorka and I played the maid. Um, my favourite part in the movie was when we were in the village scene and the ogre came bursting in and all the villagers ran away and the princesses jumped on the pig and the horse's backs. My name is Astra and I played the part of, of one of the princesses in the movie and my favourite part was when we disappeared from the balcony. Uh, hello, my name is uh, Dr John King. I played horse number one. Um, it was a very difficult part. I think to all together I spent about 400 hours in, in costume and uh, Two weeks I had to spend eating nothing but carrots. I am Nia. I played one of the princess. And my favourite part was when I had leaves in my hair. Hi, my name's Ava and I played the best role, the queen. And my favourite part was playing my fiddle and dancing with all the princesses and the knights and everyone. Well, the part of pig is a, is a very important role, uh, one befitting an actor of my uh, uh, talents. Uh, my favourite part of the film, the scenes with me in, of course. Cheers! Hello, my name is Moya. I play villager number three in the play. And my favourite part of the play is when the three princesses are on the balcony, they click their fingers, disappear, and they reappear in the park. 
Hi, my name is Anarchy. I played one of the knights um, and I enjoyed it all so I couldn't pick a favourite part. Hello, my name is Dara and I played the ogre. And my favourite part in the film was when they fought the monsters in the forest. Hi, my name is Keon and I played as one of the... One of the nights in the movie, and my favorite part was when we, when I was doing a silly dance at the end. Well, it is the most enjoyable uh, day, and seeing all these budding young actresses and actors, and uh, Katrine read the, the book, uh, the general story, and. Uh, Whenever you're translating a story onto the film, it's different to what's in the book because you have to show things rather than say things sometimes. But one of the little things was to connect up the end with the beginning. The, the blue glasses was the link. Uh, when the princesses said, do you remember the tricks we learned from the man with the blue glasses? And you don't know who the man is with the blue glasses until the very end. And then you connect it up. So a lot of that wasn't in the original story, but I felt that helped it a little bit. And I liked, I, I liked the queen. Play, played a very good role. Uh, very good. Uh, and of course, you, you're, she was commanding in the commanding position, and she, the music was great. And uh, it, it was, I enjoyed it. And the princesses were all natural, very natural. And uh, everybody, everybody's great.